We're up more than 30% on Surge Align Holdings in the two weeks since our stocks under $1 video, and I've got five more small cap stocks to watch. But those smallest penny stocks are always the riskiest, so in this video, I wanted to highlight those with a little bit more financial flexibility. In fact, the five penny stocks in this video have an average market cap of $345 million, some solid financial power, and an average upside of 95% to the analyst price targets. In this video, I'll show you how to screen for stocks under $5 a share and then how to narrow your list to buy only the best. I'll show you a way to test out your stock ideas before committing real money and then reveal the five best stocks under $5 to watch right now. We're getting started, but you know I've got to send that special shout out to all you out there in the Bowtie Nation. Thank you for spending a part of your day to be here. If you're not part of that community yet, just click that little red subscribe button. It's free and you'll never miss an episode. Now first here, I wanna walk you through a quick screener, how I started this penny stock list, and then later I'll show you how I narrowed the list to our top five stocks. Now I like starting with the screener here on Weeble because I can save this criteria and it's gonna continuously filter for stocks in that theme. Here we'll start with the share price, and since we're targeting stocks under $5 each, but above $1, we're gonna move the sliders here. And another thing I like about the Weeble screener is it's gonna automatically adjust and show you how many stocks fit your criteria for a running list. Next, we're gonna filter by market cap, which is just the size of the company. And again, we want penny stocks here, so companies under a billion dollars market cap, but I would like to keep it out of the very smallest of the small. So we're gonna move these filters for companies above $50 million as well. And next is our two fundamental factors, the return on assets and return on equity, so ROA and ROE. Now, both of these are great measures to make sure management is getting a positive return on the company's assets and its shareholders' equity, so a good start to narrowing your penny stock list. And then in that same theme, sometimes I'll use this debt to assets filter as well. Now this idea of debt and leverage is gonna be hugely important when we go to narrow down to our stocks to buy. So we'll start here with stocks that owe less than maybe a third in debt to assets. You can also filter by analyst ratings, so just those companies with a buy and a strong buy recommendations, but we've already filtered this down to 22 stocks, so I wanna start my research and, and later I'll show you how I narrowed the list to the top five. Our first penny stock is a really interesting play here, $340 million TAAT Global Alternatives, ticker TOBAF in the US OTC market. The company is capitalizing on the alternatives market and the opportunity in tobacco. It's kind of like a, a beyond meat for cigarettes with a nicotine-free, tobacco-free alternative to smoking. It's a hemp-based material engineered to mimic the smoking experience and targeting the trillion-dollar global market. Now, TAAT launched last December in Ohio only and has quickly expanded its distribution across seven more states, as well as a million-dollar distribution deal in the UK and Ireland. That international deal alone doubled its last four quarters revenue, which was already up 300% in the second quarter to 691,000 Canadian dollars, and that was just in the rollout to 191 stores in Ohio. Now, it's now looking at that expanded distribution across the United States. It was more than 300 stores by mid-year and is expanding its 25,000 square feet production facility in Las Vegas. The company has gotten strong feedback from smokers that have tried the product, with up to 7 in 10 enjoying it and 6 in 10 saying they'd buy it compared to regular cigarettes. There are more than 27 million smokers trying to quit in the United States alone. That market for tobacco alternatives is huge and just half a percent market share here. Converting just 200,000 smokers would be a $200 million annual revenue opportunity. Now this is a highly scalable business in an industry that's just begging for an alternative. The company brought in two former executives of Philip Morris this year to run the operations and it's growing fast, so I'll leave a link to the investor presentation in the description below. Now I'll be putting all five of our penny stocks into my paper portfolio on Weeble, a stock simulator that gives you a million dollars to test out your idea and follow your stocks before you invest real money. Now besides the commission-free trading and research you get on Weeble, it's a great way to practice your stock trades before committing your own money. I'll leave a link to Weeble in the description below. Check it out and get two free shares of stock worth up to $1,000 when you start investing. Next on our penny stock list is Alto Ingredients, ticker ALTO, a $340 million market cap and shares just under $5 each. Alto is a producer of specialty chemicals focusing on four end markets, health and beauty, food and beverage, essential ingredients, and renewable fuels, with a great turnaround story in the specialty chemicals industry. The company is transitioning to a stronger focus in its specialty alcohols market, which is a higher margin and more stable revenue business. 
with more than 50% of its revenue from this segment, it began 2021 with 70 million gallons of alcohol production contracted at fixed prices. Now that transitioning does mean that revenues were down last year, lower by about 37% to 900 million, but the company was able to turn that operating profit for the first time in years. Now the balance sheet here is a little shakier than some of these other penny stocks, but it is improving. Alto has $44 million in cash against $86 million in long-term debt. It paid down $120 million in debt last year and is targeting debt-free by the end of this year. I think the renewed focus here and the stronger balance sheet turns this stock around, and analysts have an $11.67 average price target on the shares. That's more than 150% higher from here. We've still got three more stocks to highlight, all under $5 a share, but I wanted to show you three other criteria that I used to narrow down our list of penny stocks for the best to buy. First year, I filtered out any biotech stocks, and these are always gonna be a lot of your small cap penny stock universe. These just tend to be those small startup companies, and they've got some great potential for returns, but they're also very difficult to analyze because you need to dig into that testing pipeline and really understand how drugs are developed and trialed. So for this video, I just wanted to keep it to penny stocks of other companies in other industries. I also narrowed our list to those with a net cash balance sheet or more cash reserves than debt owed. There are exceptions here to this, but generally I like a really healthy balance sheet for these penny stocks. These companies are already risky enough without piling on that debt leverage on top of it, so I don't want any stocks that might struggle to make those debt payments. Finally here, I looked for those penny stocks trading at low price to sales ratios, so cheap stocks not only on that sub $5 a share price, but in valuation as well. Now those of you in the nation, you've seen these penny stock videos before, and you've seen me use different criteria. The point here is there isn't always one perfect stock screen to filter for these. For example, here we screened out biotech stocks, but some of our best penny stock picks have been in that theme, like, like Intellia Therapeutics, up 540% since November 2020. So maybe sometimes you do want to include those biotechs. Sometimes you want those growth stocks that are a little bit higher price to sales ratio. Experiment with these criteria to create your own penny stock portfolio. Next tier, oil field solutions, ticker NEX, is one of the largest on the list at 716 million market cap, but still a penny stock trading under $5 each. Next tier is a leading services company in the Northeast and Permian regions with strong exposure to that shale field production. Now shale oil is more expensive to extract than those traditional fields, so the plunge in oil prices last year had a lot of explorers pulling back on their oil field services. With oil back over $60 a barrel, that production is coming back online, and the U.S. Energy the Information Administration sees domestic production rising steadily through 2030 on a base case and potentially jumping 40% if the price of oil stays higher. Now the company's balance sheet is still a little worse for wear here, with $255 million in cash against $373 million in debt, but it grew revenue by 49% last quarter and should continue to recover over the next year. And on that recovery story, next year is the second least expensive oil field services company among 58 in the industry and trading at just 0.8 times revenue. We've got 11 analyst price targets here, most with buy and strong buy recommendations, and an average target of $5.61 per share, or 66% upside from here. From one of the largest to one of the smallest, with $199 million Fluent Inc, ticker FLNT. Fluent is a digital marketing provider in the pay for performance model with a focus on mobile and more than 500 clients. Now companies love that performance-based model of advertising because they only pay for results like when someone clicks on an ad. And digital ad spending is another one that took a big hit last year as companies pulled back on expenses, but it's expected to post 16% annual growth now through 2024. Even on that drop in overall ad spending though, Fluent was able to grow its revenue by 10% last year on more than 1.2 million billable actions daily, so really showing the strength in the company's marketing. Fluent booked $303 million in revenue over the last year and $13 million in free cash flow. That means it's trading for just 0.66 times sales and, and analysts have an average price target that's nearly double the current price at to $5 per share. Five Star Senior Living, ticker FVE, is the smallest of our penny stocks at just $125 million market cap. The company is the fifth largest senior housing operator in the United States, serving over 21,000 residents at 252 communities. Now, Five Star is another company that's kind of repositioning, transitioning into a new model for higher profitability. Its average occupancy was at 70% in June, which is around the average for the industry, but wages as a percentage of revenue are really high at 57%. This is a labor-intensive business, so the company is downsizing to exit 108 communities to 
focus on senior living services and, and out of the more intensive skilled nursing for uh, just that higher business model. That demographic shift in the population is nowhere near over, with the 65 plus population expected to grow by 30% to 73 million people by 2030. Now, the company is generating $33 million in free cash flow each year and has an amazing balance sheet. Five Star has $110 million in cash against just $40 million in debt. That means it has $70 million net cash, more than half of the market cap of this stock. Now there is only one analyst rating here, but I think this can go higher than that $6.50 share target and, and more than a 60% upside return. Click on the video to the right for the seven penny stocks under a dollar a share, the smallest of the small penny stocks that could double your money. Don't forget to join the Let's Talk Money community by tapping that subscribe button and clicking the bell notification.